if you sound. For the wicked one. 
Tell God himself, tell us in his book, 2 Chronicles uh, 2, 7-14. If my people that are, that are called by my name shall do what? Shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and do what? And turn from their wicked way. Say, neighbor, there's a time, there's still a time of repentance for our wicked neighbors. For our wicked brother, for our wicked sister, there is still time for them to repent and try to do right with God. What breath of life is still in their body, what blood is still running wrong in their veins, there is time for repenting for them and be delivered. But if they don't, death comes like a thief at night. You know today you don't know what tomorrow may bring. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Yeah. They have folks that thought that they would live evil, late till uh, almost time to get out of this world. Then they can repent. But honey, you don't know what tomorrow, we don't know what tomorrow may bring. Right. Jesus said he shall come like a thief in the night. Death shall, can visit some people like thief in the night. They have, there were a lot of folks that went to bed last night when not able to ride this morning. So we're healthy. Hello? So we're rich. So we're poor. Is that right? They, 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 they have preparation for tomorrow. They have plans for tomorrow. But they were not able to ride this morning because they didn't know what time they were living out of this world. So there is still room for those wicked ones that are still alive. Hallelujah. Those evil ones. Those that are still practicing evil. Is that right? Oh, and those that are still practicing evil, they will hit you for the single clothes, for the summer clothes that you wear. They will hit you for the, the common shoes on your feet. They will hit you, my goodness, for where you live. They will even hit you for how you look. You, have, you do not have to give them any cause for them to hit you. A hitter will always be your hitters. Is that, is, that, is, that, is that right? A hitter will always be your hitters. So God is warning them too. God is warning them. He said, listen, you, you think you may get away with it, but your children will never get away from it. The sin of the father of the father can fall on the child. The sin of the mother can fall on the children. Somebody say thank you for Jesus. Thank you. God is a God of justice. Yes, he is. Hello? Yes. God is a God of justice. He not deceived, but God is not mocked. Whatever a man saw, that shall he reap. So be careful how you treat people. Because you don't know who you mess it up with. Say neighbor, you don't know. Hallelujah. You don't know who you're messing with. You don't know what blessing God has laid upon that child. You don't know what protection God has laid upon that child. You don't know what promise God has laid upon that child. You don't know what covenant God has made with that child. Tell the neighbor, be careful. Everybody be careful. Amen. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Be careful. Ah, Jesus says in his word, anyone that offend the least of these that believe in me, the least of these that trust in me, it would be better for a millstone to be hanged upon the neck of that person. Is that right? It would be good for a millstone to be hanged upon the neck of that person and thrown in the bottom of the sea. That's what the Bible says. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Bible is telling us, say, teaching us a very important lesson. Say, neighbor, you can't get away with it. Hallelujah. Say, neighbor, you can't get away with practicing wickedness. You can't. Can I repeat that once again? Say, neighbor, you can never get away with wickedness. You can't. No matter how good you think you are, or how important you think you are in your own sight, or no matter what kind of secret spirit or evil spirit you're dealing with, the powers, the Bible says God is almighty. Oh, yes, yes. Almighty, yes, yes, yes. 
He said he's a conqueror. Yes, he is. Praise him. Is that what the Bible says? So the, the text, they go back to that verse. I'm thinking, I, I want to take my time and, 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 and teach this today. Because they have wickedness arising up in the world today. Hello? Yes. So, yes. You go on the jobs. You go everywhere. They get a little secret stuff with them. They go to the fortune tellers. They go to the wish doctor. Uh, and the wish that is get taking money up from them until they are being empowered. When you talk to children, people that have been in the prison, oh yeah, they come from there with different spirit. They come from there with different ideas. Is that right? Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Because the Bible tells us that the cruelty is in dark places. Is that right? The dark places of the world full of cruelty. The dark places could be in the prison. The dark places could be night uh, nighttime society meeting. As it is in Toledo. Toledo is a place that's full of witchcraft and demons. Some of them meet at night in the cemetery. Or oh, somebody say praise the Lord. Some of them meet at night in the cemetery, and some of them are part of something that they don't know of. And they end up selling their own love on the end of inflicting their own love on their own brother and their own sister. It's just for jealousy. Somebody say hallelujah. For jealousy is inflicts their love on. And they don't get rich from it. They don't get no wealth from it. Because somebody will brainwash them. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody will brainwash them and they start to bring in mess into their own home. The Bible says anyone, anyone that troubles his own house can in inherit the wind. If you trouble your own house, you are you're gonna eventually inherit the wings. Hello? Can I repeat that once again? If you trouble your own house, you, you, you get a family tree that God bless you with. Come on now, is that right? You get a family tree that God bless you with. Your brother, your sister, your, your sister children, your brother children, your, your, your uncle, your nieces. God brought you all under that one tree for one for a reason. Where there is unity, there is strength. Is that right? But when you allow for the outsider to come and cause you to be a separator, to be a divider in your family, you are troubling your own house. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Does, does, does it make any sense? You are troubling your own house, and he that troubles his own house what? shall inherit the way your family will never grow and be one of the strongest family in your neighborhood because you are troubling your own house. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The witchcraft that introducing those things to you, you watch his family. Don't watch her family. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the Bible is teaching us an important thing here in the name of Jesus. You think you're getting away with it on the 14th verse. If his children, the children for the, of the witchcraft, the children of the sorcerer, the children, children of the evil ones, if his children be multiplied, it is for what? The sword. Yes. And you know what a sword represents? Yes. A sword is the instrument of warfare. Yes. A sword is an instrument that can kill, it can cut both ways. Yes. The soul of God is not just bullets. The soul of God can be sickness or disease. The soul of God can be mental illness. Hello? The soul of God can be being born in poverty forever. All, the, all your neighbor children are doing good, but your child can't make no hair away. Because you brought a curse upon yourself. You brought a curse upon your own children. Hello, those of opportunities are being open to your friend children, to your neighbor children. But why your children can't grow and be somebody? Because you brought a curse upon your own house. Is that right? He that trouble your own house shall inherit the wind. 
Hello? The soul of God can be a dumb spirit upon your family. You can't see the, you can't see clearly. The blessing will come and pass by you because of, of that dumb spirit upon you. Or that deaf spirit. You can't hear it. Somebody said, neighbor, neighbor. It's all in the Bible. It's all in the Bible. The God's word. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. So I, I, I stop by to tell you, be not discouraged. Fred not thou said because of evil doers. Because the Bible says evil doers shall soon be cut off. Is that right? They will soon be cut off. Because there's a time and season for everything. Is that right? right? Oh, yeah, there's a time and season for everything. The earth, God can command the earth to build you out of his mouth. That's the Bible. So I stop by for all the seven days to strengthen you this morning. You may think or you may know of someone that in your, in, in your home or in your neighborhood that has been an obstacle in your way. There has been a stubborn blast in your in your life. There has been a thorn in your flesh. Somebody said, neighbor, neighbor, his time is coming. His time is coming. Oh, our time is coming. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Is that a witness here this morning? Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. And they bring him. Hallelujah. They bring witchcraft from Africa, bring witchcraft from Haiti, they go to New Orleans, and every part of the world. Yes. Hello, these are Asian practices, and you don't know nothing about it, and you want to be part of it. Right. You're on, selling God. your soul to the devil. Hello, so you're selling your soul to the devil. Come on now. What would it profit a man if he gave the whole world and lose it on his soul? You're trying to be popular with witchcraft. Hello, but not popular with God. Hello, you're trying for witchcraft to, to acknowledge you and, 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 and what? And, 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 and embrace you. But you're turning your back on God that gave you life. Hello, is that right? You're turning your back on God that gave you life. He turned their back on the God that can, that can give you long life and That's eternal right. life. So the Bible is saying, if his children be multiplied, it is for the soul, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. The offspring will not be. Did it say, I was young, but I am old? Right. I have now I seen the righteous forsaken, not his seed bear bread. But the wicked one, children will always struggle to eat. All right, all right. Hello? Hallelujah. The wicked one, children will always, even simply will always struggle for something. Hallelujah. Things that come easily to order, they will struggle to go after it. Lord, they will swear by the sweat of their brow. Here Jesus had come, oh God, my goodness. Here Jesus had come and he has shared his blood. Here, God from the creation when Adam and Eve, when Adam and Eve sinned against him, God did not curse Adam and Eve. God cursed the ground. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't understand. All right. Is that right? God cursed the ground for that sake. He did not curse Adam and Eve. He cursed the ground. But he told me by the sweat of your brow will you eat. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Here Jesus had come and had broken the curse. The crown, the tomb of the, the, the tongue of crown that was set upon his head. What, what happened? It broke open the skull. It broke open the skin around his head. And it, it broke it straight down. And the blood broke the curse that was placed upon this, the, the bride of man. Is that right? The blood, the, the, the blood broke the curse. Yes, that didn't say you don't have to struggle anymore to make any need. Jesus said, my goodness, I will supply all of your need according to my riches in glory because the curse has been broken upon the righteous.
to the curse of that broken from the righteous one. Those that are wicked yes. still living under that curse. That's right. That's right. Because the blood has not yet been applied in your life. Right. The blood of Christ, hallelujah. The blood of Christ is waiting to break the curse out of your life. Yes. But honey, you have to start your, your practices of witchcraft and, and voodoo and, and envies and, and hatred of your law fire yes. and everyone is around you. What have you ever gotten out of those things? You still live in the same old way. That's right. That's right. Somebody shout and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say neighbor. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. What have you ever gotten out of those things? Well, <coughs> Toledo is a center of witchcraft. But God told me to come and tell you this morning, you hold your peace. Yes, you. The battle is not yours, it's the Lord. Say, neighbor, the battle is not yours, it's, it's the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hey. You may come from Guyana and you think that somebody is messing with your love in Guyana, God said, hold your peace. Hold your the battle is no more yours. The battle belongs to God. That's you right. may come from Africa and you have your sibling back in Africa. Or uh, even oh. witchcraft coming after your loved one right here in this city. God told me to tell you as long as you are on his anointing, oh. hold your peace. Right. The battle is no more yours. That's right. Praise. Praise. That's right. The battle is no more yours. Praise. That's right. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Can I repeat the name of the Bible says, Pray on yourself because of evil doer. Evil doer shall soon be cut up. With your eyes you will see and behold the reward of the wicked. Is that right? With your eyes. Yeah, let them, let them, let them do that stuff. They think they're going to come against you. There was a man in this town. His name was John. My wife, ex husband he came after me with everything. He had a picture in his house in a special room with a witch practicing witchcraft. He had my wife and my same picture in that house. You don't know. Before I married my wife, he called me on the phone and threatened my life. Man, you don't know who you're messing with. He threatened my life. He called me on the phone. Then he phone I put a ring on her finger. And you don't challenge a man like me. And you think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to turn my back on what God has already shown me that it's going to be good for me. I don't care whether she's going to hear I marry her. Because God told me that she's going to be good for me. That day God called me on the phone and threatened my life. And he did not understand it. He had my wife and my son picture in his house. Practicing witchcraft. Everywhere I go, when I used to come to the church to pray, as soon as I get in the church, he would call. It looked like he knew everywhere I was going to leave. Why is he now he's in the grave? Yes, yes, yes. Touching my anointing and do my prophet no how. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hello? Why is he now? Well, and he's not the only one. Right. I was telling my wife a story yesterday and she looked at me, she was shocked. I said, Holly, you hold your peace. You hold your peace. You be faithful to God. You faithful to God. Make your relationship with God as your lifestyle. Somebody say hallelujah. Make your relationship with God as what? As your lifestyle. That's right. That's right. There's not a wish God in the town. I don't know who am I in God. Hello? They send people in the church to conspire. Oh, all the time. You just don't understand. All the time. Man. And I refuse to bow down to any devil. Hello? There's a secret society that said that wanted to give me a million dollars to be part of it. I said, hell no. I told that people up. I mean, they invited me. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. This thing is not about Peter Thompson, it's about Jesus Christ. Somebody oh, say, hallelujah. Oh. It is about Jesus Christ. Secret society, yes. and God never gave me the desire to be part of 
it. And I will come to America and each year I'm going to be part of you. Oh, that's all right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. No way. Hello? No. I was born and raised with witchcraft. Come on, you don't understand. That's right. I was born and raised with witchcraft. I was born and raised by a woman that knew I was upset. Well. <laughs> but you know what? There was a reason that God allowed me to know about those things, to know about those people when I was growing up. Yes, now I know the reason. My, as a ministry girl, I know the reason. Jesus was born in Asia, but yet he was raised in Egypt. Young girl. Young girl. Egypt was a place of witchcraft as well. He was raised in Egypt. Among witchcraft. Among sorcerers. Hello. But God said, I gave my angel charge over you. That's right. But you will not dash your foot against any storm. Any weapon that shall be found against you will not prosper. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Oh yeah, any weapon that shall be found against you will not prosper. That's right. Praise. Thank you, Lord. Say neighbor. Breakthrough is coming for you. Your deliverance are coming. Somebody say hallelujah. Brother and that sister. Oh, if you know what I know, if you see me have seen what God has shown me, you will repent and leave God's people alone. That's right. That's right. That's right. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Let me repeat that once again. Let me repeat that once again. If you know what I know, if you have seen what God has shown me, you will leave God's people alone. Well, alright. You will leave God's people alone. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. Hallelujah. And start to worship God for you to be where your, yes. your, 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 your ancestor gone. That's right. To be where your mother gone. To be where your father gone when you leave this work. That's right. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Your, your, your mama or daddy or the God-fearing people. Well, right. And you want to join the new age movement going around and think that you have power. Hmm. Which cry no power. Okay. So no power. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Bible tells me greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. There are women in this church this morning. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's right. In Jeremiah, before you enter in your mother's home. That's right. A new day. A new day. That's right. Hello, right. and I place an assignment upon you. Oh, yeah. Let's turn to Jeremiah chapter 2. Let me read something to you. All right. You all don't understand what, what God is doing. Yes. Say, neighbor, pray not yourself, because an evil doer, evil doer shall soon be cut off. No matter what you're feeling on your skin, you are good about doing God's will. They can send demon in your heart, crawling on your body, crawling in your head. You can lose, you can lose hair upon your, your, your skull. You just go ahead and do God's will. The Bible says, if my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat out my flesh, what happened? They stumbled and fell. One thing about it, they can't touch my soul. Can't touch my soul. My soul belong to God. Yes, praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They forget to know that God has made my body his holy temple. Lord. Yes. They forget to know that God has consecrated. They forget to know that God has consecrated your body. Yes. Your body don't belong to the earth anymore. Yes. Your body belongs to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Your body don't belong to yourself anymore. It don't belong to no man or to no woman anymore. Your body belongs to God. Your body has become the, the, the act, the act of the covenant. Any evil one that touch you will perish. Thank you, Jesus. Any 
evil one that touched you would perish. Thank you. Somebody stand and read chapter 2 for me. If someone can read fast. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 2. Moreover, mm -hmm. the word of the Lord came to me saying, mm -hmm. Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Saying, Thus said the Lord. Read the Sabbath verse chapter 1. Chapter 1, Jeremiah 1. Let me show you something. <coughs> I feel like I'm let me show you Jeremiah chapter 1. Mm -hmm. All right. The words of Jeremiah, the mm -hmm. son of Hil Hilkiah, mm -hmm. of the priests mm -hmm. that were in Anoth, yes. in the land of Benjamin, mm -hmm. to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, okay. the son of Ammon, king mm -hmm. of Judah, mm -hmm. in the 13th year of his reign. All right. It came also in the days of Jehoiakim, mm -hmm. the son of Josiah, mm -hmm. king of Judah, until the end of the eleventh year of Zedekah, mm -hmm. the son of Josiah, king of Judah, mm -hmm. until the carrying away of Jerusalem captive in the fifth month. Mm -hmm. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, mm -hmm. Before I formed thee, before I formed you, Jeremiah, in the valley, before you even entered your mother's womb, I knew your I DNA. Knew I knew your cell. Yes. I knew your cell before your daddy and even mother even think about going to bed to have you. Yes. Mm hmm. Read on. Um. <laughs> okay. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, mm -hmm. I sanctified thee. I sanctified thee. I, I, I set you as that. Yes. And I adorned thee a prophet. I, 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 I placed a prophet spirit upon you. On, upon the nations. This that I. Read on. Read on first over. That particular over. Before I formed thee mm -hmm. in the belly, in the belly, I knew thee. I knew you. And before thou camest forth, before you came into the world, out of the womb, out of the womb, I sanctified you. I sanctified you. I set you aside, and, and I ordained thee. I ordained you, mm -hmm. a prophet, a prophet unto the nation, unto the nation, unto the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then said I, Ah, uh, Lord God, behold, uh -huh. I cannot speak for the child. Jeremiah did not know that God hands are on him. He said. Lord, I'm just a child. I'm just a child work, living among their witchcraft and this sorcerer. I'm just a child. I don't know nothing much. I don't know. And what did God tell him? But the Lord said unto him, uh -huh. Say not, I'm a child. Say not, I am a child. So, Jeremiah, you might have said to neighbor, neighbor, you are in his hands. You are in his hands. In his hands. Read on. For thou shalt go to all that I shall he send says, thee. I will, you will go to all 